Hi, this is Cecilia from Tarot by Cecilia, and this is a special tarot guidance for the penumbral lunar eclipse in Libra, which is on March 23rd of 2016. This will occur at the full moon on the 23rd. Now, I want to say a couple things before I start here. This particular eclipse is the last in a series of Aries Libra eclipses, which began back in 2013. Okay, so keep that in mind, you know, with events that have happened in your life. Uh, I also want to say something here, you know, because lunar eclipses bring endings, right? So it's bound to be that things are ending around you. But when I put down the cards, I was like, oh, wow, this is not what I expected to see, you know. This is really, to me, quite beautiful. It, it really, really is. It, this is about your happiness. And I spoke about happiness in something else that I, I think I wrote about the other day. And it's just time. It's not to say that you achieve every little thing that makes you happy with this eclipse. But the changes that are coming into your life allow you to begin to work on that. This is a creative new beginning for you, by the way. It involves a great deal of hard work. Now, when you take into account all of the things that have happened, not just with the Aries Libra eclipses, but everything that's been going on since, say, 2012, you're at a point in your life where, you know, all of your relationships that whether they're personal, love, career, anything, now's the time, including the one that you have with yourself. This is where all the hard work and effort you put in to create a more stable foundation for life in general, like across the board commitments, you're working on fortifying the relationships that you have. So you see, whatever makes it through, that you wish to keep in your life. I mean, like I said, I don't see all the big endings here. And I'm assuming that they are definitely happening because they have to. You can't have these new beginnings without having some endings. But at this point, the way I feel about it is that you're actually okay with them. You're aware that they need to happen and you've come to terms with them. So this is really very good. Um, to build strong commitments in your life is, I think, something that hasn't previously happened, not in an across-the-board kind of way. I always think that the, there may have been an area that was lacking, and this is the year. This is the year to go find out how to complete that whole picture for your happiness. Is it possible? I believe so, okay? Now, we have to keep in mind here that everyone has a different story and things do play out differently and of course there are always people who are experiencing difficult times so you know we have to keep this in mind because everybody's stories meld together to bring in you know the way the universe works so now much much patience has been needed and strength indeed to get to this new beginning. Uh, it's just like all of a sudden, you know, it's, you ever see like, you know, one of those things where the open sesame, it's that kind of a thing. It almost feels magical. Like all of a sudden you can get things going. And, and that's just like, like why? Sometimes you got to stop and ask why. Okay. I tried all these things before. What was I doing wrong? But you know what? You don't even have the time for that because things are going to start moving. So don't even dwell on it and say, why couldn't I do it all those other times? Accept it, have faith in the universe, and be prepared to move on. You know, there are different opportunities that are coming your way. Some are definitely worth celebrating. Oh, my goodness. You know, the only thing that I have to say is, like, be very observant. Um, and don't rush in. It, it's not... You know, this part of the journey right here, even though it seems like all of a sudden there's all this change, it's important not to try to push it because it's not all meant to happen at once. 
So keep that in mind as you're going along and try to enjoy your life each day and be a little more carefree. Many things are going to happen. All right. There, there are losses tied up in with this and you know, that's all part of it. But I really think this is where you're finally like, oh, you know, I'm working on feeling secure, secure within myself, secure within my life and my relationships. This is a good thing. Now, as far as goals and seeing the light at the end of the tunnel, all right, many of you have had to sacrifice a great deal in at least one area, and it varies for everyone, okay? It really varies. It depends upon what was taken from your life. It could have been a job, a person, it, different things, all right? But it's okay because all of a sudden there is this feeling of having a little more control and a little more contentment because you're finally gaining some freedom from this stressful issue. So this is, this is good. This is very, very good. Here again, the caution not to try to be too rash in judgment, okay? Maintaining focus on the things that you have, okay? Because let's, let's look at it this way, okay? Let's say, let's say your journey was you walking. It's easier to picture it with, with you walking if we're going to talk about your path, all right? And you've been carrying all this stuff along the way. A couple things dropped, you know, you just, you didn't have the energy to take them with you. And you're like, you know, I really don't need that. So all of a sudden, you know, you're down to like, it's you and a couple of things. And I'm like, where did the rest of it go? Hmm. Must not have needed all that. Okay. So you look at what you have left with you before you move forward and say, okay, this is what I have to work with. All right. Now, this is important to know because there are things that make it that far with you after all. And I'm kind of thinking now where I live, and I know not everybody does, that summer. So let's just say the solstice in June. Okay. That is when things begin to change. Like the, it's more uplifting at that time. So as a result of this eclipse, you're going to see changes coming in over the next few months. And as you work on building your life, rebuilding your life, essentially, is what I feel it is, that you're going to find that there's this kind of like, is it for real kind of thing when you get to the end of June. Hmm. So I've talked about this many, many times. And you know, it comes in phases. So you have to remember this because you're going to have changes at the very end of June. And then there's another set of eclipses coming in September. And of course, we'll be talking about them as time comes up. But these are like the times that come June, July, August is where you're looking at, you know, your fears that you've had. And I think you're going, okay, I'm actually free from all this. I can sort of rise up again and get the details of my life together and maybe have that happiness that I see up here in the beginning of the reading. What can I do? What can I work on? So there are details here for the abundance that you want to create in your life, what you want to manifest. Many of you are looking to save money. Some of you were hit very hard financially or had a difficult time, maybe because a spouse left and you were alone. There's all kinds of things that have happened. So the, the stories, like I keep saying, they're all different, but the, the generalities of the storylines are the same. You know, and that's one of the things I try to remind people is, you know, never judge someone else as to what they're doing because, you know, their path is basically similar to yours even if you don't realize it, and they have their own issues to deal with. So, you know, this is all about figuring out where you wish to be, where you want to stay, what you want to keep, and a reminder also, like I said, what's left, keep it and hold it dear, you know. It could just be a couple mementos from the previous part of your life. That's fine. Now, 
this being able to move on. Hmm. And I, I get this kind of seeking going on for a little while. Hmm, hmm, hmm. See, I think starting in June, you know, new plans are formulating. You're going to spend March, April, May, most of June working on the concept of putting your life in order and recovering and adding more balance to your life. Now, part of this is, you know, not deceiving yourself, okay? In several areas, some of them that are highlighted, and I've seen this elsewhere and I've mentioned it, part of it's health, okay? So with all of the things, especially so many of you have had so much stress, it's time. Is there an issue? You know, maybe you can't fix that certain thing, but do you need a special diet? Do you need to look into nutrition? I'm seeing that everything in moderation and balancing it out. So don't deceive yourself. Don't fool yourself and think that, you know, there, there could be something hidden. And I'm not, I'm definitely not one of those people. Anybody who knows me personally knows that I really don't care for the medical profession. I believe they've made great strides, but I think that it's up to each individual to make sure that they don't follow blindly, okay? Because it just doesn't work that way. You have to make sure you're taking care of yourself. And I'm seeing that here, that this is important to feel as though you have, whether it's mental, physical, emotional, that you have those energies back on track and that you're taking good care of yourself. And, you know, plans for that are very important. But I also see, and I'm going to put down some more cards, because I see this, and I really think it's like around June, like starting in July, you're going to start making some new plans in life, and I want to see what they are. I think a whole new world is opening up as far as the journey goes, and, you know, the stress eases up, and, you know, you have to remember something here, okay, that there's always stress. I don't care how wonderful your life is, there is always stress, but after everything you've been through, you should be at the point where you can suddenly say to yourself, I can handle that. And that is the beauty of it all. That is how far you have come. So you're going to handle stress differently and making sure that you're taking care of issues that you have in your life that are related to the stress. I'm still seeing the health thing here. So if it involves an exercise program, July, August, September, whatever, do it. There, there's things going on, whatever it is that you need to do. Now, I see wonderful possibilities with being able to eliminate those types of things in your life. So that's good, all right? Don't be dwelling on that so-and-so did me wrong. Forget about them. Their karma is their karma. Whatever happens, happens. You know, the only person you hurt when you start thinking about what someone did to you and the the pain they brought to your life, you're really only hurting yourself because they really don't give a crap. I'll be honest with you. You know, so you just have to worry about you. Work on building a really good routine for yourself because for many of you, life is going to take on a whole new meaning. And you will actually have the ability to create a new routine. And I like this because I think for so many of you, one of the things there's like there was something missing. And I honestly think for many, it was love. All right. So that's what's trying to come over those months. Now, I know this is about the eclipses, but or the eclipse on the 23rd, but it is showing me in such a long term like the way that your journey is trying to go. And I think that this is absolutely awesome. Okay, now I'm, I also want to mention this because I didn't when I did the solar one. I'm going to do a separate reading with a different deck of cards for my normal written full moon post. So I'm going to advise everybody check out both because there's always more things to be known. But I like this very, very much. Just know that life is about to get rolling and your fresh start awaits you. I want to thank you all for listening and have a wonderful eclipse season. I can't wait to hear all your stories. Everyone knows, everyone messages me on my Facebook page. So know that I will get back to you at some point. All right, take care.